Time now for Reporters Roundtable. Ross is back and Robert Ashley from Heaven 97 is in with us. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Let's Pleasure. start with uh, Roundtable and Dallas Democrat Eric Johnson. He wants Speaker Strauss to get lawmakers to get to work yes. on uh, addressing the mail-in ballot uh, fraud reform before 2019. Yes. How do you do it without disenfranchising minority voters? That's the thousand dollar question here. Well, you know, with, with the concern about the voter ID law, the, the constant legal wrangling back and forth, uh, there's a lot of suspicion uh, about uh, integrity and fraud. So I think if lawmakers can ensure that the integrity of the vote will be solid, whatever method they come up with to ensure that we don't have fraud, I think they can get something done. But it's the integrity of the vote. There's a lot of suspicion because of the voter ID law, but if they can find a way to make sure that the integrity of the vote is indeed solid, right. Uh, whatever method they come up with, hopefully won't disenfranchise anybody. Will Speaker Strauss have the interim charge I think start he, this study? I think he might. You know, there's a court-approved version of voter ID that Texas has always gone further than, and a lot yes. of our litigation has yes. been about going further than the court-approved version. If Texas just went with that, you'd have a voter ID law, hmm. and you'd be out of court. Robert, let's shift off to D.C. Sure. Uh, Chief of Staff for the White House, John Kelly, yes. Secretary of State uh, Rex Tillerson, who's from North Texas here. They were both in question. The future yes. of both of these guys were yes. in question last week. After so much instability in this administration, do you foresee departures and what would that mean? If there are departures, there are some who wonder if this will be a threat to our national security. Because after all, we're talking about the White House. We're talking about the... Uh, what, the executive branch of our government. If there's instability within that executive branch of our government, so goes the executive branch, so goes the American government. So there's a lot of concern about the stability of the executive branch of our government. And if there's not stability there, could that be a threat to our national security? Could, could, could Trump go through a second chief of staff sure. less than his first year in office? Sure, it all depends on why this one would leave and what, who the next one was. But, you know, it's not a good story when you start. I mean, you know, it's, it's a bad sign and then there might be some things that make it not as bad. Do you see Tillerson staying more than a year? I think he stays you know, for a while. I mean, you're kind of asking me if a tumultuous administration remains tumultuous, and I think so. Um, you know, Tillerson says he's staying. He had a press conference to say, I'm not going anywhere. It is unpredictable yeah. indeed, though. Let's shift off to uh, bump stocks, Robert. Mm -hmm. uh, John Cornyn and Congressman Flores, Bill Flores, they both want to ban bump stocks. The yes. NRA is backing this as yes. well, too. Yes. Looks like easy political cover for anyone else to get on board mm -hmm. as well. Well, with the NRA being involved, that may be a game changer. That could possibly be a game changer. And if the American people believe that banning these bump stocks would possibly ensure we don't have another mass shooting like what we had in Las Vegas, possibly something could be done from a positive point of view. But if there's just a perception you're just doing something to do something, then we may not be doing anything. This looks easy at this point with the NRA on board, right? It, it looks easy. It gives them a chance to say we did something. It doesn't really upset most of the Second Amendment people. I think they'll probably do it. Gotcha. Gentlemen, thank you guys very much. Robert, Pleasure. thanks for coming in. We Pleasure. appreciate it.